This time we're talking about autopilot. I've got a couple of videos already. One of them shows you how you can use the PowerShell script to get information from the devices and put that into the autopilot devices list. Another one shows you how you should contact your reseller and get them to do the heavy lifting for you. But what if you've got lots of existing devices that you need to rebuild and re-image in order to get them into autopilot without having to buy actual new devices? There is a way to do that, and you could run a script on each of those devices manually and put it into a CSV and upload it. That's a bit time-consuming. Andrew Taylor has suggested a way you could do that via a ISO, which would include the autopilot JSON information that is needed to build a device via autopilot. He's put it all into his blog, and I'm going to take a look at it with you now. One thing to be aware of with this approach is that this is actually how autopilot works in the background. It pulls the autopilot profile from Intune and stores it in a particular place on the disk. All we're doing is capturing that profile ahead of time and putting it in the right place in the WIM file so that when it expands into the operating system ready to build for the first time, it's already got that JSON file there ready to go and it doesn't need to reach out to the autopilot service to get it. It's a quite an impressive approach. So let's take a look at Andrew Taylor's blog. If we go to andrewstaylor.com and it's this blog here, creating Windows ISO with Autopilot JSON injected. All the information you need is here, including all the links to the GitHub. Also a script called Fido from another member of the community called Pete, who has put together an excellent way to grab an ISO from the internet. Let's jump in. So I'm going to use this install script approach here. Just run PowerShell as admin. Just install this. All right, so it's connected and now it has my autopilot profiles. This is the autopilot profile I have in my environment. It's for Windows, white glove is not enabled. And there's the settings that are enabled for it. This is the JSON file that describes the profile and the the um, the place, the, the tenant that this device needs to connect to once it's finished building. So we'll choose OK. And it's now gone off to find the latest versions of Windows that it can support, so I'll choose OK on that one. And now it is grabbing the ISO URL, downloading the ISO. And now it's going to put that JSON file into the WIM file for us. And so that's now done. Let's take a look at where it's created that ISO for us. It's in C, Windows Temp, and then a random GUID or number folder. But we'll go into that, and we have Windows with Autopilot. That contains the JSON file that we'd need to build this device with Autopilot built into it. See you next time.